Hello, it's Sarah. Oh, it's been a while. I wanted to give you an update, you guys. Um, I took a COVID test on the 25th of May. So it'll be, I think, two weeks tomorrow. Um, I feel better. I'm starting to move around and be out and about wearing a mask still. <clears throat> um, my husband didn't get it nearly as bad, and um, I don't know if that's because he's just tougher than me, which he likes to say. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> and that's really the last of it. I have a little bit of a cough, but I feel better. Um, I have some projects that I wanted to share. This is a little bee bath. That's what they're called. It's, it's a, a saucer for a um, terracotta pot. And I think I'll grout it with you. Um, I have a ladybug rock I did. I haven't grouted yet. I have to decide if I'm going to use the epoxy grout or just regular grout. And then I did this dragonfly, which I'm curious to see how that'll turn out once I grout it. Because I put um, this star here and these are like beaded eyes. Anywho. Um, also wanted to show you, give you a little tour of the house. And depending on how shaky it is, you know, depends on if I'll post it. Um, so... Without further ado, uh, those of you who watch my channel know that um, over, it was March to April, I think, probably from the end of March to the end of April, we did our floors, the downstairs floors, so we had to demo it and put them in. The kitchen, we just demoed the countertops and the backsplash, and we put in a new backsplash, new countertop. And we still have a lot of painting to do. We still have like half the trim, I would say. But then COVID hit and like the weather was really bad in May. Um, I don't know. We just wanted to take a break probably. Anywho, I want to show you because it's just I'm in love with the way it looks. It just we have lived here for about maybe going on 30 years and we really haven't upgraded much like even we got a new refrigerator I mean that's basically it um so it just needed it and um I upgraded the couch in the Zen Den I got myself the couch I wanted well we got it and so let me share so I'm gonna try and take you with me. So right now I'm in my craft room. You can see all the stuff behind me. That's my desk. And if I turn this way, which I have a little tripod here, turn this around. This is the Zen Den. So this is our living room. This is where the boys used to play their video games, but this is the new couch. I'm going to just back out of the room. There's a half wall here. And but if I keep backing up, I think I can. You'll see the floor. So the floor has changed. They used to be a bit darker wood, and then right at kind of where the basement door is to the half wall was a threshold, and the rest was tile. And the tile was really starting to come up. A lot of the grout was coming up. So now it's all the same throughout. And I'm just going to go this way. And this is the kitchen. Oh, man. Well, but we did not change the countertops. I mean, I'm sorry, the counter, the kitchen cabinets. Kept them, just cleaned them up real good. Um, they're called, they're that oak, honey oak color that's just been really popular forever, you know, 30 years ago. But we like them. They're real. We didn't want to paint them. It's just, let me see if it'll, the light. Um, the counters are Corian. We got those from Home Depot. And the backsplash is just tile. 
that we got from Lowe's. So we ended it here. So our backsplash before only went halfway up. Don't know why we did that. But we decided to end it at the end of the cabinets. So we had the spackle and like I said, we didn't paint yet. So we still have some work to do. Joe put in LEDs under the cabinets. And oh, we got a new sink. This is those sinks that like kind of blend in with the um, countertop like it just is a it's all one piece big this is big deals for us <laughs> we never had that before so <clears throat> and then we find we just put nicer trim that matched and it wasn't cut all weird everything you know so we did it ourselves but like <clears throat> see the floor that's the old couch that was in the Zen Den <clears throat> that used to be the dining room but now it's where the um, glow forges anyway um, that was a parquet floor so that was a different kind of floor too but we just love it um, my plants are doing really well okay I did this after I made a little coffee bar here so it's got the teapot the coffee and um, <clears throat> I put that shelf up to hold some plants and I put my little dream catcher there to be there um what else i think so like all this trim i think that's nailed down uh we're probably gonna paint i mean <clears throat> we oh we did the stairs too <clears throat> so this is all, all new um you know so the floor is all the same floor that's what's the most amazing part because there's that's my craft room in there. So, um, just wanted to give you an update. I mean, listen, life is lifey. Um, let me just show you my plants. <coughs> They're really doing well. I, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> this one's called uh, Baltic Blue Pothos, and it's, it's not really, um, fenestrating that much for me there's a couple fenestrated ones but that's what it's supposed to be a, like a twist on the um, Cebu blue see here's a fenestrated one can you see that the Cebu blue and a pothos anywho I got that I love my skin dapsis I love them and this is the um, globo green which is another pothos and he's doing all right. He's probably not in the sunniest spot. Like, I've, I've been trying to change these around. Um, but everybody else, see, this is a Cebu Blue. He's doing okay. Look, there's a yellow. There's a couple yellows. Like, maybe it's too sunny. This kind of tends to be a um, little bit of a southern-facing wall. But I just pull off the yellows. This is my Brazil. He's doing really good. A um, couple of spiders, um, philodendrons. So I've been I've been keeping pretty good with it. Um, love these. These are um, aglaonemas. I think this is called a ruby, and this is called like a silver or something. This is my um, Scandapsis, like exotica. I think. Look how big those leaves are. Um, so yeah, everybody's doing good. My money tree. This is a cool little table. I made, I burned that, I burned that. Well, that's just crystals, but I made that. And, um, these are all doing really good. I just got another philodendron Prince of Orange because my last one died and I don't know. They, they just, look how little it is. $6.99 for that little tiny guy. Um, this I started from um, Propagations. This is my Maranta, my red Maranta, and I started this from Propagations, so he's doing really good. Um, him. Oops, I just dropped it, that other one. Um, these are more Propagations in here. I have some Cebu Blue. Um, this is a... I can't think of the name of it. It's a Pothos. It grows really slow. Um, and there is, here's my other Scindapsis pictus. 
Argyris. Um, he's doing pretty good. This is, uh, hmm, I know your name. He's doing much better too. I put a trellis in there. He was kind of sparse. I got him at uh, Lowe's and he wasn't looking good. Um, I know the name of it. It's two words, like a triceratops or something. <laughs> um, and there's my Monstera Deliciosa. I want to think of the name for this one. You guys know it. You plant people know it. Um, but he's starting to really grow. This is all new growth, one, two. And this definitely gets the fenestrations. I think that's what they were trying to do with the um, Baltic Blue, is like kind of make a, this is, I guess they consider that a mini Monstera. I forget. Um, it's called, um, oh man, I can't think of the name of it. Trying not to make you sick while I throw this out. And I'll show you a couple more plants. Oh, I think I have to water these. These are just um, pothos on the wall. They're getting much, much bigger. <clears throat> I'm really... Something tetrasperma. I can't think of the first word. <laughs> um, I can't think of it. Anywho, this couch came with two more cushions that are actually in the other room. A lot of cushions. All right, so I want to come in here. It's my peace lily and my big pothos. There's my bird of paradise, and I just put it over here. Can you see it? It's a little sunny. And it's gotten much bigger. It definitely has. Not a lot of new growth, um, but this guy, the um, Monstera adansonii. I put that, uh, what is it, the pole in there, and it's definitely feeling better, like, although I see a little yellow guy right here. But they're just some of the older, it's just an older leaf. I should, I'll pull him off from the base, but he's doing better. He's getting fuller and looks better. When I first bought him, he was like a little, a little bit, bit messy. And then I wanted to talk to you real quick about this guy. I'm going to try and put the tripod down so we, I don't move the camera. This plant right here, I'm going to put them on the table, is called, um, a Brantianum. So let's see if I can show you this without. Um, Philodendron Brantianum. This this is not the best. Um, and if you, I'm showing you the one leaf that looks gorge, but the rest of this plant, I've had this plant for over a year, like back when the um, when, when I first started collecting. Look at the weird way look at this it's so weird these are like little growth points and they're very deformed like i don't know what's going on look at i mean this is a a, a newish leaf right here and it's a mess and look at that look at that like that's a new leaf it's so strange to me Anyway, this plant at our local nursery, because you can't really find these, you're very lucky if you find one at the um, big box stores, 80 bucks. And it wasn't much bigger than this. Like, I was very shocked. Um, trying to, this tripod's not great. Anywho, um, I'm just sticking with it. And I actually think I put two together in this pot. Um, my tripod is really giving me trouble, but it's just a mess. Like, I don't know. I tried to make it kind of go up and I mean, look, this kind of even looks deformed too. We'll see what comes out. We'll see if this even opens up into a leaf. I don't know. This is a fairly new leaf. That's a good looking leaf. But for the most part, I have gotten nothing from it. And I've been so tempted to just give up on it. But after I saw that was 80 bucks. But like, look at that. What is happening here? I don't understand it. I don't. I just watered it today. I don't overwater it. It's in a east facing window. So it only gets like morning sun, but it's always bright. 
He should be happy. Ugh, it's so weird. So anyway, anyone who knows about the Brantianum, let me know. And then here's another, um, what is it, Aglionema, and look, it has a little pod flower. I don't know, I never saw that before. And I've got some orchids. Um, but anyway, all right, I'm gonna try and turn this around and just tell you guys, oh, this is awful. I can't, I can't make the, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so I think I wanna come back and grout those pieces. I don't know if I'll film it, but I just wanted to let you guys know, um, not crafting as much as I thought I wanted. I want to, and I've definitely been making bracelets. The bracelet of the month is Let It Begin With Me. That's the bracelet of the month, and Trust. So, um, that's where I'm at. Sorry for the weird looking filming. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Can't find the, can't find the thing.